I like the music. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Look at that view. We're all so close. Hey, Internet. It's Jessica, and welcome to Seduce Me, the episodes. And Michaela Laws, who is a creator of this game, just released another episode for Seduce Me. So, we're going to see... All the boys. I expect I expect them to be all shirtless because you know, especially my husband Eric. I need to see that shit. But for uh, before we get started, there are a few things you should know. If you guys want to grab the episodes, you can. There's a link in the description where you can grab them. They're free to play. Also, if you want to check out Michaela Laws, who is the creator of this game and the voice of Diana, uh, there are links to her Patreon and her website and all that other good stuff. If you want to help support her, please check them out. And I guess I'll have a link to all the boys, like all the voice actors of the uh, main boys. I'll have their links to their stuff as well in the description. So, I'm really excited. I really don't know what to, to expect in this episode. It does say hashtag Inky Beach Boys at the bottom here, and that's freaking great. Chicago is, to me, the greatest city in the world. It isn't crazy crowded and has the sights of New York City and Los Angeles in a wonderful package. The historic buildings and events that are peppered through Chicago are to die for. There is only one problem with Chicago. We don't have a beach, we have a lake. If you're the type to love to surf, swim, or do anything remotely related to the beach, you would not find this kind of fun here. While you could do all those things in the lake, it's not suggested. The water is either too cold or too filled with questionable pollutions. You know, I know that feel, because I live, I live in a city too, we have a lake as well, and it's just like, you don't, you don't want to go there. It's just, it's just not recommended you go there. <laughs> to even dare try. At least you could walk around and hang out with your friends. So when the boy suggested that we go to the beach during the dinner cleanup, I was completely dumbfounded. Oh. Interesting! It's the- Is this- Okay, because it's using the art style from Seducing You Want, so I'm assuming- I get it. It's after the dinner party and Seducing You Want, that party that the father wanted to throw in whatever. I'm pretty sure that's where it's from. Okay, I get it. Wait, what? Guys, you mean the lake, right? No, miss, we mean the beach. Woo! We haven't gone to the beach in ages. Can we go now? Which one are we going to? Guys. Do we have to? I got shit to do, you know. <laughs> you want a vacation too, Sam? Get out of my head! <laughs> oh, Damien. Guys! The boys looked over at me as I exploded, catching their attention. Why was it that t every time I demanded their attention, I had to yell to get it? Well, to be fair, there's five of them and one of you, you know? Nevertheless, I glared at the boys, not understanding where the idea of a beach trip came from. We were in the suburbs of Chicago, and there was no beach in any of the four corners of, the, of Illinois. We have a lake, not a beach. Where is this beach idea coming from? <clears throat> the boys stared at me for a long moment before James cleared his throat with an obvious smile be behind his fist. Miss... I'm suggesting a trip out of state to an actual beach. Wait, what? How would we get there? James adjusted his glasses with a smirk before walking around the dinner, the dining room table, and towards the lobby. I can have a jet scheduled for us with a non-stop flight. Why he has good weather today the last time I checked. <laughs> I like how James was like, don't worry, I got this, and just like, I'm gonna call the jet. <laughs> I almost have forgotten that James is CEO now. Oh, okay, this is after. Oh, okay, I have the wrong timeline then, all right. <clears throat> I had almost forgotten that James was the CEO now, so he had plenty of assets available to him. Still, Hawaii? That's like nine hours by plane. We'd sleep on the plane. Duh. When the heck would we leave? It would be best to leave sometime very early. Remember time zones. I like how Matthew's just like, we'll sleep on the plane, are you stupid? <laughs> I can schedule our flight for 7 a.m. We'd arrive around noon in their time zone. Excellent. I'll pack some food for us. <laughs> Okay, for some reason, I just see James as, like, out of the entire family. James is just, like, the, the dad, and Eric is, like, the mom. I'll get the food! <laughs> Woo! Man, I gotta find my swim trunks. I'll pack the sunscreen. This will be fun. Guess we're really doing this, huh? Damn it. Fine. Whatever. Shut up, Sam. You know you want to come. <laughs> I stared as the boys quickly dispersed and pack and, to pack and prepare. Were they not going to ask me to come with? As I thought that, Sam peeked his head back into the dining room, glaring at me with a raised eyebrow. Hey, you gonna pack or what? You're coming too. Uh, 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 what? Me? No, the other Anderson in the room. Yes, you doofus. Now hurry up. <laughs> we don't, we're leaving without you. <laughs> Sam, 
<laughs> oh my god. Sam disappeared beyond the archway, most likely going off to pack his own. I had let the situation sink in. We were all going to Hawaii and relax on the beach. It was a real vacation. Would have been stupid to say no to get the chance to get away for a day, especially to Hawaii. I instantly ran to my room and began to pack my swimsuit and essentials, preparing the trip for there and back. Even though we only stayed there for a day or two, it was going to be a fun vacation. When we finished packing, we could barely contain ourselves. We were checking and double-checking our luggages. Excited for the impromptu vacation, Mavi kept packing and repacking things, indecisive about what he wanted to bring. At 6 a.m. rolled around, we gathered our things and drove out into a private jet, where James had scheduled jet pick us up. By 7, we were on the jet and soaring through the sky towards Hawaii. The excitement of the trip had had me sleeping through the flight, hoping to make time go faster. By the time I opened my eyes, I was being ushered into a taxi into a taxi and shortly we arrived on the sandy beaches of Honolulu, Hawaii. I like the music. Ah! Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Look at that view. They're all so close. Oh! Uh... All right, I'm okay. <clears throat> I'm right. Wow. That looks so beautiful. It's just the beach. <laughs> Don't let anyone hear you say that, Sam. Wow. I couldn't stop myself from staring at the view of the ocean myself. And staring at the boys! Hey! It was breathtaking to say the least. The air was fresh and the view of the endless horizon captivated my senses. <clears throat> it took James clearing his throat for me to focus back to our attention away from the sight and looking back at him. Let's set up a spot for us to relax first before we enjoy ourselves. With a nod from all of us, we set up a small area on the shoreline facing towards the water. Our large purple and blue beach Beach blanket became home base as we settled down to look at the, fre the fresh breeze. <sighs> okay, Sam, jeez. Sam stretched out, letting out a tired young. Man, how long do we plan on sticking around? We're not gonna splash and run, are we? I've already arranged a hotel block for all of us to stay in tonight, so you're completely free to do whatever you like for the day. What? Really? Always thinking ahead, aren't you? That's our older brother for you. Always he's three dad. steps ahead of the rest. <laughs> Come on, Sam. Don't be a killjoy. Don't let him fool you. <laughs> he's just as excited as we are. Despite the quick glare in Sam's eyes at Damien, Sam couldn't help but smile with a nod. Yeah, I guess. I mean, like, it's been what? Half a year since we had a real vacation? The boys nodded in agreement. Had it really been that long for them? I had graduated and the summer caught up with us so quickly that I barely re realized how much time had passed since the boys had came to live with me. As I thought of it, a smell triggered along to my lips, remembering how close we all became. I was especially close with... Ah! Okay! Oh! Oh, oh my god! We can pick for... Okay, you know what? Hang on. Wait. Wait. Alright. The bay is going first. You guys should know this. Eric. <laughs> I looked over at Eric, watching him take a deep breath and release a silent sigh of relaxation. He was my second kiss and he had claimed to all of my kisses after thereafter. Remembering how we painted a smile over my face, recalling his flirty and suave persona. Underneath the mask, however, was a man I truly came to adore. They're not engaged yet, right? Don't think so. As I stared, Eric, Eric caught my gaze and smiled at me lovingly, making my face burn a soft red and causing me to look away in embarrassment. Seeing my embarrassment, Eric walked over and gently lifted my hand to his, kissing over my knuckles. Princess. Accompany me, will you? <laughs> yes! I'd like to walk with you. Yes, princess, I miss that so much. <laughs> I stared at Eric, feeling my blush intensify at his kiss, before smiling softly and nodding to him. I wa a walk across the beach sounded lovely with Eric. Eric smiled and slowly guided my hand underneath his arm, guiding me to a reef near the, water near the water's edge. The sand was warm beneath my feet and the air brushed over my skin in a loving manner. Even as we teased the ocean edge, by letting our feet in the shallow shoreline, the clear water la lapping over our toes, I could feel the tingle of heat from the sand beneath the soft brushes of the wave. However, feeling Eric's strong arm, strong arm, all right, made me, <laughs> made me instantly call up against him, laying my head on his shoulder. It was so romantic to be on the beach with him. A perfect chick flip moment. Oh God. <laughs> Eric, feeling my embrace, chuckled and kissed my hand causing me to look up at him. So, my princess, <laughs> how do you like the view of the Pacific? I mean, I like this view of you, like, top looks better, just, just say. It's gorgeous. I've never been to Hawaii before, so this is a brand new experience for me. Really? I'm surprised. Huh? <laughs> What's so surprising? Vacations are expensive. I've never had the time to really travel with, with studying and all. 
Eric nodded in understanding, knowing what exactly what I meant. Eric learned of how strict my father was when he properly asked for permission to marry me. Okay, so they're already engaged. I was shocked at how well we got along, but Eric was an incubus. I couldn't be totally surprised with his charisma. <laughs> However, I became surprised in the moment as Eric turned and wrapped his arm around me, pulling me close to him with a smile. Eric? You look so lovely in the sun, my island princess. <laughs> He's so cute. I stared up at him, completely lost in his cheesiness of his words and the loving glimmering in his eyes. I felt myself li lift the leg up behind me, popping my foot off the water below me and leaning close to Eric's body. You're too sweet, Eric. I only speak the truth. Stop it. Damn it. <laughs> I smiled and wrapped my arms around Eric's neck, closing my eyes and leaning in for a kiss. I felt Eric step closer to me and lean forward as well, making making my heart flutter in anxiousness of the, ki of the kiss. We didn't expect what happened next. Get a room! <laughs> of course, I love how it's like, it's Sam and Matthew. Oh, God. Huh? Yeah. All at once, I felt a pair of hands on my side push Eric and me over. I quickly looked over to see Matthew and Sam hands and love from pushing us with evil grins on their faces. As Eric and I fell into the water behind us. Yo, I would drown. Okay, this is a real life thing. I don't know how to swim. Okay, I'm being honest here. I don't know how to fucking swim. <laughs> so Eric, you better save me. <laughs> with a splash, Eric and I dropped into the water and quickly shot back up for air. Shaking from the intense temp temperature shift. You jerks! Sam and Matthew laughed and high-fived each other before running off towards the other end of the beach. Puffing out, puffing out my cheeks, I looked back at, towards Eric to make sure he was okay. You know what's funny? Because Sam and Matthew are the ones who, who fight a lot, but honestly, I, I feel like they get along so well because they're both, like, you know, they're both children. <laughs> <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, I'm alright. We're good. <laughs> Eric stood up from the water and grinned at me, combing back his hair with his hand and drenched from head to toe. I had to admit, it was kind of hard to see him like that. Yes, it was. But his smile made one girl on my own lips. Well, that certainly didn't turn out the way I would have imagined. No, it's perfect. <laughs> it's perfectly fine. As Eric began to laugh, I couldn't help but laugh along. Now that the rush of surprise w had washed over us, it was kind of hilarious to know that our romantic moment was a community was comically ruined. Taking the surprise moment a little further, I dipped my hands into the water and splashed to it towards Eric, landing my landing my water attack perfectly. D princess Look, alright, you're already wet, so you might as well, you know, get Gotcha. I smiled dance over Eric's lip as he wiped his own face with his hand before he re retaliated, making me release a squeak in surprise that covered myself from the water that he shot towards me. Couldn't help but laugh a little harder. We had our entire lives to be romantic and cheesy. We were at the beach now, so we a little fun for for the moment. My little vacation away from the world would be with Eric and me laughing in the sun and playing in the ocean together. I wouldn't have it any other way. Ah, so cute! Okay, let's let's do the let's do I need I need to see the other one. Alright, let's do Sam next, okay? <laughs> I looked over at Sam, watching him stretch back and rub his neck. There was a mere action that reminded me how ripped and strong he was. Yes, it, thank you, thank you for reminding me so much about this. Causing a red blush to cross my cheeks. Sam was my first kiss and recalling the small memory caused a smile to grace my lips as I continued to gaze at Sam and his Adonis-like body. As I stared, Sam looked over before smirking and flexing his arms behind his head, making her fists burn deeper. Right, and I looked away and embarrassed <laughs> Jesus. Eric released a yawn and sat down on the blanket, ja joined by James. I think I'll just relax here for a bit. Okay, husband. Uh, I'll join you, Eric. I have a book I need to finish anyway. Boo! You two are no fun. I looked over at Sam, wondering what fun we could have on the beach. We could swim in the ocean, maybe run some surfboards and wade on the water. If Sam knew how to surf, it would be fun to see him ride the waves. I grinned at the images in my head of things we could do, but then I heard Damien chuckle and walk over to Matthew while catching my attention. I forgot he was able to read my mind. Come on, Matthew. Let's go get some ice cream. Ooh, sounds good. I could go for some. <laughs> Damien's the ultimate wingman. He's just like, okay, we need to get out of here. Let's leave them alone. <laughs> David smiled at me before nodding and walking away with Matthew towards the small hut on the far end of the beach, leaving Sam and me alone. I turned towards Sam, seeing him watch his younger brother sleep before gazing at me with a simple smile. Guess it's just us, huh? Duh. I nodded before walking over and leaning up on my toes, kissing Sam's cheek. As I caught him off guard, I looked over to see a small, 
To see a small building with surfboards on the side, most likely ready for rent. With a playful spark, I continued to lean in, making Sam stare at me with a blush on his face and surprise in his eyes. How about a race? The word race made a slowly growing smirk appear over Sam's lip, mischief and stare as he as he gazed into my eyes. A race? Where? Okay, why would you race Sam? This man is like Sonic, okay? <laughs> I placed my finger over the end of his nose, dragging my thumb over the surfboard building. No powers to that building. <laughs> what makes you think you can beat me without me using my powers? Well, we're on sand. I pointed to the sand beneath our feet, reminding Sam in a different terrain. We were on, we were on as as we already sank in a bit in the ground. Sam looked down and realized the difficulty of the challenge as his toes wiggled in the sand. Still, Sam looked back at me with the same arrogant and playful smirk. So what? I'll still win. Oh, Sam! My God, <laughs> you really think so? I felt a rush of confidence rush through my body as I arched my back and pressed my chest against Sam in an act of intimidation. Sam grinned and leaned his head towards mine, touching his nose to mine. I know so, doofus. That is so cute. Then let's go. I gave a peck on Sam's cheek, knowing that he would be stunned for half a second before bolting towards a surf surfboard building. Oh my god, we're cheating. Sam stared at me, shaking out of the surprise attack before smirking and rushing after me. I laughed, looking back. Looking back at Sam and focusing my sits on the finish line we had established. The sand beneath my feet was giving away with each step I took, but I pulled my legs up and continued forward. <gasps> oh my god, these sieges are gonna kill me, dude. Oh my god, who is the artist? I love you. Just, just, I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay. I didn't expect Sam to catch up with me so fast, grinning at me with my side and matching my strides. How's it going, doofus? No fair, he can run! Hey, no cheating! I barked in believing at how much ground he had gained, gained in the race. Sam leaned back and let out a bark of a laugh. <laughs> Not my fault you're having trouble. <laughs> He's such an ass, I love him. <laughs> Sam looked back at me and grabbed my arm, pulling me towards him before ducking down and I landed on his I landed on his back, piggyback style. Whoa! Come on. With a burst of energy rushing through my bo rushing through our bodies, Sam sped up and raced like a speed car towards the building. I gripped onto Sam tightly laughing at, and accepting the loss that I the loss I would have in, in the race. Sam was indeed faster than me, but I loved him anyway. My little vacation away from the world with Sam and me running along the sand uh, running along the sand and surfing in Hawaii waves. I wouldn't have it any other way. That's so cute I turned my head towards Matthew, seeing him bounce on the balls of his feet with excitement. I couldn't help but feel energetic and energetic and excited the day ahead just from the sight. Matthew and I had become a dy dynamic duo and being on vacation with him was proving to be fun adventure waiting to happen. As I looked wonderful as I looked at my wonderful incubus, Matthew turned and locked eyes with me and smiled. I smiled back, both of us gaining a boost of joy from the exchange. Sam let out a grin across his lips as he walked over to Damien and gave him a simple smack on the back. Hey Damien, wanna learn how to swim since we're here? Huh? Oh, I heard that Damien doesn't know how to swim. I haven't played his route yet, but that's what I heard, that he doesn't know how to swim. Sweet baby, it's okay, I don't know how to swim either. <laughs> Before Damien could properly reply, Sam ducked down and lifted Damien over his shoulder, walking towards the water. God, Sam, put me down. Sure, I'll put you down when we get to the water. <laughs> James and Eric shook their heads, watching the pair, the pair as Sam marched towards the ocean with Damien filling on his arms. Matthew chuckled nervously before walking over to me with a, his goofy grin. So, what you want to do? I smiled at Matthew before looking into the water, letting some ideas cross my mind. We would indeed swim around in the ocean and enjoy the water. At the same time, I felt like waiting a bit before taking a dip. I took Matthew's hand and gently pulled him towards the coastline. Let's walk for a bit. Then we can go swimming. Matthew nodded in agreement before walking alongside me towards the edge of the water. We walked along the foamy tips of the waves and we basked in the bright sunlight. I had never felt so relaxed until then. I guess I truly needed a vacation after all. I was glad to spend it with the men that I love and the fact that made me release a sweet sigh of joy. Huh? What is it? Huh? Matthew turned with me with a curious smile. I, f I furred my eyebrows in confusion in a moment before realizing the sigh that had come out of my mouth. I shook my head and laughed. Oh, sorry, I was just thinking about how wonderful today is. We're in Hawaii and we're spending a day out. It's really nice. Matthew seemed to agree and, and nodded with a smile and stretched his hand over to cover his face up with a shadow. Yeah, it's really nice. Oh, kind of hot. Everybody's hot right now. <laughs> I had to admit, it was a bit warm. Then, then again, we were on the we were on the island beach. It was it was expected to be hot. 
enticing you forward to take a dip in the water. However, as he took a moment to himself, Matthew grinned and pointed over my shoulder. Whoa! What's that? What? 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 I instantly turned around to look over my shoulder, only to see a tree line of beach, the tree line of the beach, and feeling a wave of confusion hit my brain. What was he wanting to show me? <laughs> oh, Jesus! Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, who do I thank here? Michaela. You know what? Thank you, Michaela, for doing this, and thank you to the artist for drawing this. Like, it's so good. As I turned back around, however, Matthew held up two ca two tan cups filled with peach orange colored ice cream. What? Whoa! How did you? Matthew handed the cups over to me and smiled sweetly started before starting to eat from his own. The ice cream looked amazing, but I could tell that something was different about it. What kind of ice cream is this? Goody goody. It's like soda ice cream. <gasps> it's really good. I promise. Ah, oh, that's so good. I watched him take another bite as his goody goody before nodding and looking down at his own, my own cup. It looked fluffy and light, so I took my spoon and tried it. He was right. The flavor was soft and the texture melted in your mouth, mixed with a fluffy cloud-like feel. Even more so, it was refreshing and I felt a cold wave run through my body from the simple taste. This, this is really good. I know, right? It's so yummy! Matthew, where did you get it though? Is just my question. Matthew and I shared a small lap and smiled as we enjoyed our dessert. The combination was perfect, the light breeze and the cool goody-goody mixed, uh, mixed with the sight of the ocean and the fresh air. Today was good. Today is such a good day. Matthew chuckled a bit, causing me to look over at my fluffy-haired incubus. What? I feel the same way. Being on a beach with the sweetest woman I know Aww. and eating really good ice cream. You're so cute, best. Matthew! I want to hug you! <laughs> I pursed my lips and fought a blush, attempting to invade my cheeks, causing Matthew to chuckle to evolve into a laughter. I couldn't be stubborn for long as we began and began to smile. I love you so much. Oh, he's so you know sweet. He always says that, and it's really cute. I love you too, Matthew. Matthew was indeed one of the most important people in my life, and to walk alongside with his smile made me excited for the day ahead. He was my joy, and I was his. I wouldn't have it any other way. Ah, it's so cute! I like that one. I looked over at Shane, seeing him adjust his glasses and settle down on the blanket. He had stolen my heart from the moment he offered it his arm to me when we first met. I haven't played James and Damien's Root, if anyone didn't know yet. I'm going to, just I haven't played the Roots yet. I couldn't tell what exactly that attracted to me, but I was positive that his leader-like aura was one of the million reasons why I fell in love with the demon. I mean, I can think of like, uh, five million others if you want. <laughs> As I stared, James caught my gaze and smiled at me sweetly, making my face burn soft red and I looked away in embarrassment. Sa Sam and Matthew turned to each other and smirked. Race into the water, runt! No speed boost, cheater! <laughs> And they went and they went off, bolting towards the ocean with bouncing strides across the sand. Eric and Damien laughed before looking to each other. Can we go collect some seashells? Oh, Damien, you're so precious. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you read my mind. Oh my god. Eric and Damien nodded to each other before walking towards a reef. Focus on the hunt up for shells. I began determined to look at things that James and I could do. We could get a boat and ride across the water, or even walk along the shoreline and watch the others enjoy themselves. As long as I was with James, I was completely okay. <gasps> oh, oh my, uh, okay, there's a lot of sin happening here. We can't even use the bin anymore. I think we need, like, a garbage bin or something. Like, I don't know, man. What's up with his nips, though? Like, wh whoa, okay. <laughs> as I looked back at James, I noticed him sitting down on the blanket we had laid out to pull a book from the from the bag he we brought along. To my surprise, it wasn't love and romance, it was a book it was a book with a blank cover and and back. Huh? James? Hmm? What is it? You're just gonna read? You're just like James really seriously gonna just read right now? <laughs> James nodded, lifting his book a bit to, for me to see. I started this a while ago and still haven't finished. I might as well finish it now that I have the time to. I see. Seemed a bit boring. Why would James go through the trouble to come to Hawaii, then sit and read? This made zero sense. Seeing my confusion, James smiled. You're wondering when I'm going to have some fun, aren't you? <laughs> huh? Well, 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 I mean... I bit my lip. I didn't want to give away my thoughts away from my on my face. But James simply nodded and laughed a bit, causing me to look back at him. <laughs> I plan to eventually. It's just like, let me be boring for like five seconds, please. <laughs> eventually? Mm-hmm. I mainly wanted to come here for them. Oh, that is sweet, Heidi's so 
Oh, he's so good to his brothers. Oh my god, I love you. James' gaze turned to the ocean, causing me to look over and watch as Sam and Matthew race each other in the blue water, with Eric and Damien sitting on the rock near nearby collecting shell seashells. There was logic. He did it for his brothers. He knew they wanted to have a real vacation, so he arranged it the perfect one. I looked to James to see him nod with a smile to continue to look at his brothers, enjoying themselves. We may be adults, but I'm still their older brother. Oh my Whatever God, I can James. give them, I will happily provide. You're so sweet. Oh, even if Sam fights you? <laughs> even if he argues tooth and nail with me, I'll still take care of him. I smiled, feeling my heart warm at the sight of such a brotherly love. I walked over and sat beside James, staring, staring out of the water and leaning against James's side. Hmm? Love? You're so sweet to them, you know that? <laughs> I'm glad you think so. I hope you will enjoy yourself, too. Oh my god, he's so cute! I nodded before letting out a sigh and becoming lost in the sight of the horizon. Hmm. This place is really beautiful. <laughs> I was happy to be by James's side, even if it was simply basking in the sun with a book. James seemed to take in the hint that he softly let out a chuckle and wrapped his arm around me, kissing my temple. But... It is nothing compared to your beauty. Oh my god, stop it. <laughs> that that made my face heat up. I became red in the face. Pursing my lips at James as he smiled and hugged to me. I love you, James. I love you too. My little vacation away from the world was perfect with me, wrapped in James's arm, staring at the gorgeous ocean, enjoying the fresh island breeze. Wouldn't have it any other way. That's so cute. Alright, let's do Damien's. Alright, the precious cinnamon roll, here we go. I turned my head towards Damien, seeing him stare at the ocean's horizon. Couldn't help but wonder what was on his mind. Damien had become an interesting venture to explore, as he, as he was generally the less talkative brother of the Incubi, despite being human now. And there's a spoiler. <laughs> okay, well I kind of knew about that, if I'm not going to lie. But I just don't know how it happens. But anyway, don't tell me, okay? I don't want to know yet, because I still need to do Damien's route. Um, I, found that the, I found those facts dance around my thoughts in fascination. As Damien looked at me, he was over. He looked over and was surprised to see me stare at him before smiling and reaching over. Taking my hand, I blushed and smiled, giving him a, his hand a squeeze. I began to wonder what we were going to do together. We could walk along the shore, swim, and explore the depths of the ocean. Maybe even surf. Anything was possible. Out of pure excitement, I tightened my hold on Damien's hand and pulled him towards the ocean, giggling a bit. Uh, huh? Come on, let's jump in! Uh, wait! Oh no, he can't swim! I could barely hear him as we made our way towards the edge of the water. Before we could even touch it, however, Damien pulled my hand back, causing us to stop. Whoa! Uh, hold on, okay? Oh no, sweetheart! Oh no, Damien, what's wrong? Damien grimaced, tightening his grip on my hand as he looked down at the sand in shame? What was he ashamed of? I... Uh, I can't swim. It's okay, Bay. I can't swim either. And suddenly I felt bad. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. It's all right. I guess I forgot to tell you. Damien relaxed a bit before stepping beside me, looking out at the water. There was a form of longing in his eyes that made me frown, that a prick of curiosity trapped my mind. Why don't you know how to swim? Well, I guess the demon world is to blame. In the Abyssal Plains, we live near a place called the Decaying Sea, a cursed body of water that pulls anyone who falls in beneath the water for all eternity. I'm still traumatized by Sam's root, if anybody knows what I'm talking about. Shadow, I still hate you. Oh, wow. Yeah. When we came here, James and the others instantly adapted and grew to love the beaches we went to. I never really got over my fear, though, oh, so he's scared of the I water. can't swim. Damien pressed his lips together inside, making me frown a bit more. I really wanted to help him, but he seemed to be interested in at least wadding through the water. With a small dollop of courage, I turned around and slowly walked back to the water, feeling the ocean gently wrap and dance around my feet while I, I held Jam Damien's hand. Huh? Let's take it slow then. I'll help you through it, even if, we, even if we just go away through the water. Damien stared at me in surprise. I was hoping he was up for a courageous chance, but something told me that he would. Something told me that it would just be a little nudge. As his lips finally formed a loving smile, he nodded, making me giddy. My nose is so freaking itchy! Making me giddy and joy. I slowly began to walk towards me as I led both of us further into the water. As the ocean caressed Damien's feet, he flinched a bit, tightening his grasp on my hand. However, he gulped silently and pushed himself further. I felt a bit bad, not wanting to force him into this, so I slowly, so I slowed my pace further, eventually getting us to knee-deep edge of the water. The ocean, on the other hand, was an impatient beast. I barely noticed the shadow hovering above us as Damon looked up behind me and suddenly became pale in fright. Wait! <laughs> it's 
Sam! <laughs> I barely had time to turn around to see a gigantic weight crossing over Damien and me before feeling my incubus rush to me and wrap himself around me protectively. <gasps> he's still protecting us! Even though he's afraid of the water! Oh my god. The cold was refreshing wave of water splashed over our bodies, making the warm air that followed after brush against our cooled skin. However, we remained frozen in the event, caught off guard by the ocean's natural splash attack. I looked up at Damien and watched him slowly open his eyes, looking at around in slight surprise. We were both soaking wet, but we were okay, standing in the same spot we were in before. Gently standing up straight, I placed my hand on his shoulder, slightly nervous and worried about my incubus's mental state. Damien? A moment passed utter silence as Damien seemed to take in what had happened. We were all right and we were still together. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Jonah, your voice is so dorky. I love it. <laughs> That's so cute. Finally, Damien began to laugh. It was a sweet and joyful laugh, one that seemed to ooze with innocence and excitement and enthusiasm. I couldn't help but start laughing myself. <laughs> that way was unexpected. Oh, Jesus! Jesus' abs! He's fucking, he's fucking ripped as well. They're all ripped. God damn it. Damien grinned at me before gently walking further into the water, gesturing me to follow. Come on! Let's wait for another one further in! Oh, he's so cute! I stared dumbfounded. Where was this rush of courage come from? As the after of the ocean listened to my thoughts, a wave gently pushed me forward, pushing the back of my knees towards Damien. I stared at the water before smiling. This swimming lesson would be fun. I'd spend time with Damien forging a new memory and helping him learn to love the water. The ocean seemed excited to have us, and I was happy to know that we were at a grand time. I wouldn't have it any other way. That's so cute, dude. Aw, David's so cute. I can't wait to do his route now. All right, guys. So I'm recording on a different day because yesterday I went back into the game and then I saw there was like more <laughs> after all you do all the voice. So let's see what the rest are. It was true. I shared my love with all of them and for... And for now, they all shared their love for me. I knew that one day I would have to choose one to be with, but for the time being, we were all bound together in an intricate web. So, so we're not in a relationship with any of the boys. Gazing at each boy, I felt a small bubble of joy flutter in my chest. With each face, my sight landed on. I loved them and I couldn't wait to spend the day with all of them. What suddenly brought me out of my happy stupor was Sam vanishing from his spot and reappearing where Matthew was, holding his younger brother up over his head. Ah! What's happening? Hey! Anyone want to see a flying pig squeak? <laughs> Sam, you're an asshole. <laughs> Sam, I'm gonna kill you! He threw- He threw Matthew! <laughs> Before Matthew could finish, Sam vaulted Matthew towards the ocean, laughing wildly as his brother made a giant splash in the water's surface. Matthew? I stepped forward and rushed towards the ocean, but stopped as Sam was suddenly grabbed by both James and Eric, each incubus taking hold of the younger brother's wrist and the size of his ribs. What? Cute display, I think I was wrong too. How about a reprise? Oh no, you don't! <laughs> Eric, and, Eric and James smirking at their victim, managing to quickly hoist Sam up over their heads and shoot him into the water beside where Matthew had fallen in. The splash Sam made was twice as large, sending Matthew drifting away from his spot. Matthew is so, like, tiny, he would, like, fly away. <laughs> oh my god. Damien, on the other hand, laughed as James and Eric began to walk towards the shoreline before following his two eldest brothers. I couldn't help but watch in curiosity. James and Eric began to wade in the water, moving towards Sam and Matthew. Damien took his time, but very cautiously stepping into the water and following along. Was he afraid of the ocean? Oh, well, I feel so bad, because when we did uh, Damien's, um bit like he was, he was so scared his sweetheart i stared as matthew shut up from the water and bonnie slammed sam under the, under the surface making a chaotic splash in the ocean as the three other brothers approached they had ducked and dodged the water cresting from the flight how was i lucky enough to wind up with them thinking back on how we all met i can only still imagine how i ended up in the hawaiian beach with five really hot guys i was the luckiest girl in the world yes we are hi Doofus! Ah, yes! Yes! Oh my god, yes! Yes! Oh, yes, thank you, Michaela, thank you. And thank you to the artist for drawing all of them together. They're all just, they're all just so, they're so, look how cute Matthew is right now, <laughs> oh my god. My thoughts were broken at the sound of Sam's voice. I looked up quickly, coming back to reality, as I saw the five boys stare back at me unexpectedly. 
Are you gonna come in or are we gonna have to drag you over? Maybe you have to come and drag me over, you know, just pick me up and, you know. Let's go! The water is great! Might as well come on in, miss. You'll enjoy it. We promise we won't roughhouse with you. Unless you'd like us to. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Eric, please! Please do that! Come oh on. my god, I'm dead. The, the smile grew on my face. I'm sure it was brighter than the sun. I was going to spend my day and my life with these wonderful guys. And I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> oh my god. I love it. That's cute. That's so cute. Okay. Still not over here. There's one more thing. Go over here. Mm. Look at Diana! No lights, <laughs> the beach was actually a marvelous idea. What a cozy place, Hawaii. A perfect getaway from royal duties. Yes, the ship! I am glad you are enjoying yourself, my love. However, must you glamour yourself as a human? We are the only ones on this particular island. <laughs> Do you not approve? <laughs> I never said that. Then what is the problem? I think this garment looks good on you with my human glamour skin. It clashes with my Lilith armor. Zayer. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Don't tell me you're infatuated with my choice of clothes. And if I am, there are many people who would fall to their knees at the sight Sarah, of you. Sarah, stop! Why are you so cute? <laughs> you know I would only accept your swooning, my heart. Zayer, you cannot keep a glamour spell up for long. We still need enough energy to return. Relax. We'll return to the demon world soon. I'm sure the council is taking care of things while their king and queen have a moment to themselves. Besides, if I need energy, I'm sure you can make up the difference. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. As you say, then. <laughs> Still, I wonder how that human is doing. Yes! Cyana! The ship! Oh my god! Okay, that was great. I love that. That, that little, little, um... Easter egg? I don't know what you want to call it, but that's so cool that Michaela decided to add Diana and Soto in that. I wish I could see Soto, though. It'd be really cool if we could have could have saw him, too, but... Ah, oh, they're finally happy together on the beach. That's what I need. That's a great way to end this episode. So, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Seduce Me, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what was your favorite one out of this beach episode. Personally, you, you guys know who my favorite is. It's freaking Eric, all right? It's always Eric. Um, but it's really adorable. I really like this little, it's a little short story of all of them. It's really nice to see, especially with James's, what he said about his brothers, that he wanted to have the vacation for his brothers, and that was really, that's so sweet. I love it. I can't wait to do Damien and James's route. Honestly, I really can't. Oh, anyway. Like I said in the beginning of this episode, if you guys want to grab the episode yourself, there's a link in the description along with the other episodes. It's free to play. And if you want to check out Michaela's stuff, her Patreon and everything, I highly suggest that you do. And if you can, donate to her Patreon so she can make more games like this. And if you guys want to check out all the voice actors of each of the characters, I'll have a link to their stuff as well if you want to check out their stuff. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!